Hey everybody, so today I got another design for you. Um, I haven't thought of a name yet, so I'm just going to leave it out there for a minute while I do this bracelet. I might come up with something during the course of this video. Alright, so what I've got now, six feet of navy blue, six feet of silver gray. I fused them together. I don't know how much I'm going to need yet, because I haven't finished one of these yet. So I have about 12 feet total. I've got my ends here that I've already flattened and on my buckle. I've got a half inch buckle here. I'm just going to take two ends down through the top. Just jump right into this one. We're going to open up our long ends here. Reach through and pull all that paracord through there. And this was my practice cord for this design so it's kind of wavy, it's got waves in it. Uh, let's get that knot out of there. Or that, uh, got a little bit of a twist going in there with both colors. There we go. Alright, now I'm just gonna flip this over like that, run the paracord through my fingers. This will get all the twisting out. And then we flip the buckle back over and go up through the bottom. Flattening out your buckles, or, or flattening out the ends really helps get it up through the other side of the buckle, especially if you're using these half inch buckles. I'm going to pull it all the way through almost, just so I can get rid of all that twisting that was going on. Alright, so once you get to this point, you should have your basic shape of the bracelet right there. Now we'll just open up the buckle. Make sure I'm focused here. I wasn't focused, sorry about that. Um, but you get to this point the same way you do in all my videos, so should be good. Alright, so we're going to take your left cord off to the left and your right cord off to the right. First thing we're going to do is set your measurement, which I'm going to go a little short because I don't know if I have enough paracord here. And we'll go about right there first thing we're going to do is this basic Solomon so just take I'm going to use my left cord to start and the left cord to start or whatever cord you use to start that's going to be your main your main color and then the other cord that you use is going to be just basically little dots that run right down the center of the bracelet so whichever color you decide to go over the top first that's going to be your dominant color in this case mine is going to be the silver so I'm going to take my right cord over the silver, go around the back, and then up and through that loop. Just the basic Solomon to get you started. Get that tightened up. And then when, when once you're at this point, double check your length just to make sure. Now what we're going to do take the right cord again and you're going to go over the over the right cord over the right center cord and down through the middle pull that through so you have something that looks like this take your left cord and do the same thing you're going to go underneath both of these cords so underneath both of the silver cords through the middle and then over top of the right cord so if you did it right, you should end up with something that looks just like this. You can see we got the silver that went under first, so it goes over the first cord, under the, under the silver. Your left cord goes under the two silvers, and then through the middle, and over the right cord. Now what we're going to do kind of cinch that up just a little it doesn't have to be done yet we're going to do a Solomon but we're going to start with the right with the other co color now going over the top so the cord that was on the left is now on the right and you're going to do the Solomon with that color take your silver over the blue go around the back and up through the hole and if you've done it right now 
you should have an X that's in the middle so there's an X here and then you have just a basic Solomon down here and I can zoom in on this so you can see what I'm talking about but that's what you should end up with and then once we get to that point you've got to go back and tighten everything up so the easiest way to do that is to cinch everything up just like this figure out where you have to pull it tight so we know that this silver has to be tight and this blue over here has to be tight so we'll just grab the opposite side of the silver right here pull that through grab this blue one over here and pull that through and then we can pull our main working ends tight and that'll get everything nice and tight for you and then when you get it close you can pull everything tight and that'll kind of lock it down and then you just repeat you can notice we have our silver back on the right and the blue back on the left so we just repeat what we just did so you take your right cord down through the middle off to the left same thing with this one but instead of going over the top first you're gonna go underneath through the middle and over top this one's a little bit trickier than some of the other ones so give this one a little bit higher grade on the um, difficulty scale so that now we do our Solomon cross over take it behind come up through the bottom Okay, cinch everything up. And now we got to pull everything tight. So grab the silver, pull that silver tight, and then we're going to pull our navy tight. And then you can pull your working ends tight. And make sure you make sure you're pulling these pretty tight so you get a nice even look as you work your way down. All right, I'm going to do one more real quick and then I'm going to finish up and then I'll be back this one can be done pretty quick it's just getting into the rhythm of it so about what was that five seconds ten seconds I did did the tie now I just gotta go back and tighten everything up So it does take a little bit of time, but once you get it, you'll be good. Alright, well, there you go. I think that's enough instructions on this one. I did it three times. One super slow, slow, and then one kind of at a speed, which you can achieve if you just practice at it. And I will be back. I'm going to finish this up, and then I'll show you how to end up end your bracelet, and hopefully I'll have a name for you too. Alright, so I'm down at the end here and I barely have enough room because I've been tying this pretty tight I don't have any room to cinch it up that way but I have barely just enough room to do one more pass here and I also came up with a name for this this is going to be called the diamond back um, just because these little spots on here they are in the shape of a, a diamond and I just thought that that would work anyways I've attached the fids to the end of each cord and that's so that I can go down through the center here um, if I didn't have the fids I wouldn't be able to do this this part of it so we went down through the center there this one comes up through the center let's poke it through the bottom and go up get this last one on here And then we'll finish it up with the Solomon. And once this is tied here, we'll go ahead and cut the ends. If I can get that through there, there we go. Get that tied nice and tight. Make sure we're not over top of the end here. Alright, now I can cut my ends. 
when you cut this, you want to cut it so that you leave just enough on there to melt. You don't want to cut it so close that when it melts, it kind of goes inside the paracord, but you want to leave just a little bit, maybe an eighth of an inch, not a whole lot. And then when you're melting the ends, use the very, very low part of the flame. It'll get you the most melted. It won't catch on fire. It won't smoke. And most importantly, if you're using a light color, it won't turn it black. It will darken it, but it won't turn it black. And then I got this little tool here. Just put that on there and rock it back and forth. Super, super smooth edge. Now I will say I've probably got, here, let me get this off of here. I've got it about, uh, let's see. I'll measure this real fast. Ten. Got about three feet, roughly. Yeah, I would say roughly about three feet of each color left. And I started out with six feet of each color. And the bracelet ended up being seven inches. So six feet gave me seven inches of bracelet. So kind of use that to play with. Um, oh yeah, I gotta, <laughs> before that goes inside, I gotta get this melted. But yeah, this is just another design that I came up with messing around last night. Um, call it the diamond back. Now a cool feature about this one, not only does the pattern exist on the front side, but if you flip it over, it's the exact same pattern. So if you've got some flat buckles, this would be a good design to use a flat buckle on so that you could flip it over. But pretty cool design. It's the diamond back. Again, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. And until next time, paracord on.